Hi, and uh, that's my arrangement of uh, Diamonds and Pearls, the Prince song. It's a lot of fun to put together and, and it's quite challenging, so you're going to have to work hard. Well, first of all, get the tablature and uh, let's break the parts down. So the intro, bar one. I'll count it. One uh, and a two, three and four. Now, the second bar is an F major 7 chord. Third bar a D minor 7 chord. And then the fourth bar of the intro. It's like a G sus chord. So all together very slowly, the intro. going to the verse. And that's just repeated. So I'll go bar by bar, those four bars. So for the first bar of the verse. Then the second bar, well, so the first bar is a G chord. Then we go into an F major 7. The third bar is a D minor 7. Then an F major 9. So I'll play the whole verse, well, that part of the verse, which is then repeated uh, twice. 
The only difference the last time, this uh, uh, the, the the last bar of the second time through. Now we then go into the chorus, so we don't have that tap on the bass. Now let's go into the chorus. So I've after my little intro, I jump, it's a G chord, I've got the B on top with the B open on the second string and G open on the third. Then we go to an A minor 7 chord. And my third finger is, is on the D, 7th fret of the, uh, of the third string, and we slide down on him. So let's put that together. Then it's done a second time. Well, the first time we land up on that C major 7 shape. C, well C major 9 actually, and the B. Then our little phrase again. Different C major 7 chord this time because we want to get that so let's do the two parts together and you can see the difference then we do our, th our phrase a third time for an E minor 7 chord. So that third time with that phrase. Now let's put the three parts together. Now that takes us into a, a, the, the, like the intro again. Now you'll notice I did that D minor seven differently instead of where I liked it in the first, in the intro where I could get those harmonics. It's closer to the G. There now. Now, the verse is, a, is pretty much identical to the first time through, except for the bass. So there's your difference. So now I'll play that, the, the verse slowly, the second time through with the verse. It's done.
and again. If you like. Now our chorus again. Now the solo. So it changes key. We go into E flat and we turn on on, on, on the F by playing that F there, eighth fret of the uh, fifth string. If you'll imagine your C chord, we've got it up here as an E flat chord. And I'm playing the two E's. You've got to be careful that, to make sure they're in tune with each other. You see how I, in the second half of the bar, I, I introduce that E flat on top. G on top, E on f Okay, so. Kind of tricky, so I'll do it one more time. Then the next part. So let's watch slowly um, after we've come out of that. So that at speed. Uh, now the girl sings the next part. So what we can do there is That, that's done sort of like four times and uh, there's an answer to every every one that I've come up with like a Hendrixy thing then we do that little phrase again Then the synthesizer plays this part. So that part. Now the next phrase. Now the answer for that one. And then, then I put a little blues lick in. Pentatonic thing. Then we're back into the verse again. So let me play the whole solo one time through for you, uh, uh, kind of at a slower speed.
Now the verse and chorus are the same as the beginning. Etc. Um, and the chorus again. Same as the first time through. Okay, so those are all of the parts. Uh, if you check it out with the uh, with the tablature, and then try and play, play along with the actual song. The only thing is the intro, he tw does twice. I only played it through the once, but if you repeat that, everything's there. The whole thing should should work against uh, the the Prince recording, and uh, you'll get the feel of the song. But it, it's just a really good song to play on your own without uh, without anyone around you, any drums or bass or anything. It works very nicely. Now we'll see you in the next issue, and I'll have another song for you. So see you then. Mm -hmm.